Hey YouTubers, Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're addressing a leak in our basement and it's right at the sump pump area where the plumbing comes out of the chamber and pushes up and out of the house. Let's take a look. All right, YouTubers, downstairs in the utility room where the furnace is, the water heater, and our sump pump, and the radon system, as you can see here. So, let's get right to talking to it. As you can see, I've got a blue wet towel on the concrete floor. We just recently had our radon system converted from a passive system to an active system, and part of that project is sealing the sump pump area. As you can see here, there is a clear cap on top and it is sealed by silicone. And unfortunately during that project, we also had our sump pump replaced. But during that replacement, you have to remove this plumbing from the sump pump itself, which is way down there. As you can see here, that green sump pump way down there. But as the technician was removing the sump pump from the plumbing, he accidentally caused a leak at this portion right here. So as I feel under there, my fingers get wet and this rubber seal right here is clamped down so I'm not sure if the technician loosened this clamp as he was working with the plumbing however at this point the clamp is tightened and secured but there is still a leak so as the sump pump chamber fills up with water to a point where the sump pump turns on guess what as the sump pump pushes water up the plumbing and out of the house it sprays at this point so to fix that Again, just carefully spend a minute or two and loosen up this clamp with a flathead screwdriver and maneuver this rubber boot back onto the check valve, if that's where yours is leaking, and then tighten down the clamp, and hopefully that will fix your leak. In addition, unfortunately, one more thing I found as I was looking at it, additional water down to the right. And previously, there was a solid black cap on here. You could not see down in the sump pump chamber, and the technician had to cut that off, and you can see a bunch of the shavings right here, but, during that process of cutting that black pipe off with his hacksaw, he cut right into the PVC pipe here. And as the sump pump is pushing water up the plumbing and out of the house, it leaks right here as well. It's a very small leak, but it sprays to a point where it gathers drops of water. So that's not cool. I gave them a call. They are going to come back out here this afternoon and get this replaced. They are going to install a brand new pipe from the sump pump all the way up to the fitting right here prior to the check valve. They are also going to remove this plastic cap and they are going to vacuum up all of those shavings in there to give it a much more cleaner and professional finish to it. And then reseal it back up so it meets proper code for our radon system. And as you can see here, the radon pipe, in most cases it's three to four inches in diameter and it has to be sealed to prevent any radon gases from coming up out of the ground and into your house. So check your plumbing and your fittings and verify everything is secured. You may also have leaks where the PVC pipe runs and connects into additional PVC pipe. So again, YouTubers, check it out and hopefully this will help. Do us a favor below the video. You'll see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us and we would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. And one more thing, in the event that you are interested in radon systems, we have an entire playlist on radon systems and we will link that playlist above. So definitely check out the link scrolling above. One last thing. I got a flashlight that's what the chamber looks like a brand new sump pump and there's where the plumbing connects to the sump pump that will have to be replaced right where it comes out of the sump pump and again all the way to the check valve fitting